Hello everyone, welcome back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Along. Today we are making this um, uh, simple wish square with this lovely star in the centre. Um, it is Memorial Day um, for our American friends. So um, I've done it in red, white and blue, especially for them. Um, obviously you can choose what colour you want to make your square in. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've done it red, white and blue, especially for our friends across the pond um, for Memorial Day. Um, so you can use one, two, three, four, however many colours you like. I will be taking you through a few colour changes, um, but obviously mix it up or, um, or make it one colour as you please so grab your hook and yarn and scissors and drink and anything else you need and let's get started okay so we're going to start with a chain four Oops. that's a good start isn't it <laughs> one two three four and we're going to use this um last chain as our magic ring or you could make a magic ring um, it's up to you so we've got this um, chain here which we'll be doing our stitches into or you can make a magic ring and a chain three whichever method you choose your first three chains will count as a double crochet okay and then you're going to do into this chain here i'm going to do it this way into this chain here you're going to do 14 double crochets okay 14 double crochets if you're doing a magic ring do 14 double crochets into your magic ring so one two three i will get back to you when i've done 14 double crochets so if you look here, this bottom chain, it's now looking as if I had used the magic ring. So just pull that in tight, whether you've used this way or whether you've used the magic ring, just pull it in tight and then do a slip stitch to the top chain of your first chain three. So just there. And then whichever way you started, you should all now have 14 double crochets plus your starting chain making 15 double crochets there we go so moving on okay we're going to be making our uh, the points of our stars now and we're going to be doing that using um, a decrease or also known as um, double crochet double crochet two together double crochet three together so it's a decrease or a, so many um, double crochet together so we're going to chain two and then we are we're only chaining two because we're doing some stitches together so we won't have the full height of a double crochet okay then that so that goes in line with our chain that we've already done on the previous row so then you want to go in um, yarn over for a double crochet go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and leave the last loop on the hook and then do that same um, into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two leave the last loop on the hook and now this is so this is your two double crochet so you're doing a two double crochet decrease or two uh, double crochet two together um, it's exactly the same thing and um, you've done double crochet two together in previous patterns um, with us so yarn over and pull through all three and that you can see that makes your point and lay that down there you can see that makes your um, the point of your star so because we use the chain for this one we're not going to um, we're going to be doing three double crochets together now so you're going to chain six one two three four five six and then you are going to do a three double crochet decrease or double crochet three together okay so into the next stitch so yarn over into the next stitch do a yarn over and do the first 
pull through two loops of your double crochet and then yarn over into the next stitch do exactly the same leave the last loop on there yarn over into the next stitch yarn over pull through two so you've now got the loop that was on your hook plus three loops one for each stitch yarn over and pull through all four and there's your next point so chain six two three <clears throat> one two three four five six and then do another three double crochet decrease into the next stitch next and the third oops and then pull through all four loops just like so you're going to do that twice more so you will end up with five points of your star okay so do that twice more remembering to do your chain sixes in between and i'll see you when we have five points okay and then do your last chain six and then do a slip stitch into your top chain so your second chain here do a slip stitch and fasten off there we go there's your star finished just pull your um, middle in there you might need to um, secure that by stitching but there's your star all nice and finished so grab your next color you might want to continue in white um, or whatever color you're using but grab your next color and we'll move on okay so i joined my new color in one of my chain spaces now you want to join it over to the side because you're going to be working across the whole chain so join it over on the side i've just joined it with a slip stitch if you're using the same color then you can just do a slip stitch in the top of your um star if you like um or you can fasten off and then rejoin in the side of a chain space okay so what we're going to do is just do a chain one which doesn't count as anything and then you're going to do uh, two single crochets into your space so you actually could have done that as straight away as a uh, single crochet if you like so that's what i'm going to do actually so um isn't it weird how sometimes we just forget how to do a certain stitch okay so there's my first single crochet and then um, do a second single crochet into that chain space and then what you're going to do is the double crochet that is directly in line with where these two star points join um, so this double crochet right here this one here which is in line with these points you are going to do a front post double crochet so yarn over pop your hook under that double crochet post okay and then do your double crochet just as normal just like so scooch right along slightly there we go okay and then do two more single crochet in the same space Okay, so we've got two single crochets, front post double crochet, and then two single crochets. And then you're going to chain three. Skip this star point and do exactly the same as we've just done before. So two single crochets in your chain space. One, two, oh, that's a double crochet. Um, two, two single crochet. Then again, find where these points join here find the uh, yarn over ready for your double crochet find the double crochet directly in line with your point pop your hook underneath and do your front post double crochet there we go and then do two more single crochets over your chain space chain three skip your next star point two single crochet in the next chain space and you're going to repeat this all the way around 
so you've done your two single crochets just scooch those around a bit and then you're going to do your double crochet in your chain um, sorry your double crochet directly where these points meet so you pop your hook under there do your double crochet and then do two more single crochets in that same chain space and then chain three and continue that around your last two chains um, finishing with a chain three and slip stitching into the top of your single crochet okay when you've done all five of those this is what you should have going on I love it I love how cool that looks with these um, front post stitches looks really good so time for our next round okay I've just removed my yellow now that, um, that I'm working in colour um, so what we're going to do is chain three which counts as a double crochet and then you're going to do a double crochet in the next four stitches so that will be your single crochet double crochet and your two single crochets so do a double crochet in all four of those one two three and four there we go four double crochets well five counting your chain then you are going to do two double crochets in this chain space one two double crochet in there double crochet in the next five stitches Um, there we go, it's the first one there. One, two, three, four, and five, and then two double crochet in the next space. one and two in the next space and you're going to continue this all the way around one double crochet in each of these five stitches two double crochet in your chain space which is there okay do that all the way around and I'll meet you back around here to fasten off Okay, so as usual, when you've got round to the end, you're going to go into your third chain, your top chain, and do a slip stitch to fasten off, um, to finish off that round. And there we go. There's what we have. Looking good. So I'm going to actually fasten off this colour and join, um, I'm going to rejoin my white. So I'm going to join my white and then I'm going to finish with a blue round. So fasten off my red, rejoin my white, and then it will be a blue round. So you can continue with the same colour or you can change colour. Entirely up to you. So purely to make it easier, I've joined my white into the same place that I just fastened off just to make it easier um, not having to work out which stitch to go into okay so now we're going to start um, squaring this little beauty off we're going to start making some corners so chain two chain three even <laughs> chain three and then in your next stitch you're going to do a double crochet double crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch so you now have the equivalent of three double crochets and then what you're going to do in the next stitch you are going to do two double crochet so one two double crochet chain one and two double crochet this is going to be your first corner and 
and then you're going to do double crochet in the next eight stitches so one two three four five six seven eight eight double crochets Get some more yarn okay eight double crochets and then you're going to do another corner so two double crochets in the next stitch chain one and two more double crochet and then double crochet in the next eight stitches one two whoops three four five six seven and eight and then a corner in the next stitch so two double crochet chain one two double crochet and you're going to repeat this all the way around you're going to, you're going to do it twice more eight double crochets and then a corner and then eight more double crochets and then you're going to slip stitch into your top chain around here i will see you in just a moment so for your last few you won't have eight you'll just have um this last um four stitches okay and then your double your um, sorry <laughs> slip stitch into the top of your chain there you go that is your square how cool is that looking i love that so i'm now going to fasten off um because you've got two well one or two more rounds depending on how many you need for size so i want to do my last ones in blue for this red white and blue um so up to you whether you want to fasten off and join a new colour or whether you want to continue as you are. Okay, now if you're continuing with your same colour then that's fine. If you're joining in a new colour, join it in the same space as you did your slip stitch or join it into any stitch anywhere, it doesn't matter. Um, and this round is so simple you are basically going to do well, we're going to start with a chain three for our first double crochet um, i have only done two there because i've got my first um, sort of chain slip stitch um, down here so it's already quite tall okay so you're going to just literally do a double crochet into every stitch along okay so whether you've started around here you will get to your corner quicker than me. Um, if you started in a different place, it will take you a bit longer. So you're literally going to work your way up to your corner. I'm just going to try and weave in some of these ends a little bit. So work your way to your corner, doing one double crochet into every stitch. And when you get to your corner, which I will be there in just a jiffy. Bear with me, I'm getting there. Okay, so one in every stitch. When you get to your corner chain, you're going to do the same as you did in the previous round for your corner. You're going to do two double crochet. Oops, try that again, shall we? one two double crochet chain one and two double crochet simple 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 there you go and then you're going to continue round doing one and double crochet don't forget this one here that's going to be slightly hidden just move your corner stitches away 
just go around doing one single uh, one double crochet in every stitch beautifully simple but beautifully effective as we've said before we don't always need to be doing fancy fancy just stitches speaking for themselves and doing the job which couldn't be better so just continue round doing one double crochet in every stitch and in your corner chain space you are going to do two double crochet one two double crochet chain one and another two double crochet and I'll see you back where I started so this is the end of that round for me and it's looking really good I really like this really like this so um, actually there's the top look if my star is pointing upwards there we go um, so I started on the side so um, if your square is not um, up to your size yet you can do some additional rounds I need to do um, additional round or rounds um, and if your square hasn't become very square yet either um, there is um, a more of a squaring off round that you can do I'm going to talk to you about that just now and then um, I, obviously you can see mine is looking quite square um, so I can just do um, the same again I can do another row of double crochets and doing the same in the corners or depending on what, what size you need as we said before you could do a single crochet round you could do half double crochet or a double crochet round and just do your corners in exactly the same way um, if your square is looking a little circular still then um, how you can correct that is the way we've corrected um, round squares into square oh, circles into squares before um, yeah uh, you know what I mean so if you need to do that what you ideally need to do is along your side um, if you have followed um, our patterns before what you'll know is we start from the side okay we start from the side and we will do some half double crochets in the first few stitches um, so you'll do three half double crochets in your first um, in your first few stitches and then um, you will do ten single crochets and then another three half double crochets um, and that will make that uh, straight if it's curving like sort of like this so it's more circular so this part here is taller than your corner then you need to just have that small single crochet in the middle and then work um, taller at the side to just square that off okay um, so do so ideally rejoin in your corner and then do three half double crochets ten single crochets three half double crochets and that will straighten your side out for a square and then in your corners just do as usual two double crochet chain one two double crochet and then work along your next side with three half double crochets oops, three half double crochets ten single crochets three half double crochets okay um, that's what you can do if you need to square it off if it's looking a bit circular if it's looking a bit like Captain America's shield um, in a circle um, if it's already looking square then and you just need to extend it make it bigger then choose whatever stitch size you need and do another row of that so I'm going to do another round of double crochets and then I'm going to come back and show you my end result very quickly before I go off and do that if you are doing just to remind you you're starting if you're doing single crochet just chain one which won't count as anything and then do your single crochet in the same stitch if you're doing half double crochet do a chain two to count as your first stitch do your your proper first stitch in the next stitch and if you're doing double crochets then do a chain of three for your double crochet and your first stitch into the next 
Okay, now I'll see you when I finish this round. So I have actually um, done a round of um, single crochet as well. So I've done a double crochet and a single crochet round as an extra, just to bring that up to size. Still looking a little bit like Captain America's shield, but. <laughs> Um, so this is our simple wish square um, which with the star in the centre makes a perfect square for Memorial Day which um, I know some of you um, guys over in the US are um, remembering today so if you want to do that in your red white and blue then obviously feel free um, if you just want to do it in any other colour then obviously feel free too it's your square so this is our simple wish square and um, remembering Memorial Day as well. Um, so if you found this useful and helpful, please click that like button and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. You um, can be notified every day as soon as the videos are published. And all the details of the group, uh, Facebook group, are in that description box below where you can find the written pattern and chart for all of our squares and um, yeah any comments or questions leave them down the bottom below um, or in the group and until next time just keep hooking and don't let your tea get cold or um, as it's hot and sunny have a, a nice cool drink um, there you go see you next time guys